Hi, I'm going to show you how to write an equation in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, from a table. So, in this case, m is a slope, b is the y intercept. So, this is always slope intercept form, and it's if it's written in this form, slope is m, the number multiplied by x, and b are the y intercepts with that added on. Slope and rate of change are the exact same thing, just different ways of saying it. And to find the rate of change of a table, you do the change in the y values over the change in the x values. The y-intercept is where x equals 0. So you find the y value, the y value where x is 0. And some of these are easy, and I'll show you how to do those, and others are a little more complicated. So here, the slope, so the rate of change, we do change in the y values, meaning if you start at 1 and go to the next, what's happening? Well, to go from negative 2 to positive 3, you're adding 5. So it's positive 5 over the change in x. To go from 0 to 1, you're adding 1. 5 over 1, 5 divided by 1 is 5. Then b, your y-intercept, well, I did say it's where the y value where x is 0. So if you can find where x is 0, well, in this case, the y value is negative 2. So this equation, this one's pretty easy to set up. So it's y equals the slope times x, so 5 times x, or 5x, plus b, well, since b is negative, we can just write minus 2. So there's the equation for that table. The next one's very similar, where we do change in y to go from 3 to 7. You add 4, so this is for the slope, positive 4 over change in x. You add 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, then the y-intercept or b value, this is where x is 0, the y value is 3. So the equation is y equals 2x plus 3. So these were pretty simple because we're given where x is 0. But I'm going to show you a couple where x is not 0. One of them, even though it's decimals, I'm going to show you a trick to figure it out. The other one, I'm going to show you a slightly different way for solving it. All right. I like to start with rate of change or slope. So change in y. Go from negative 0 0.5 to positive 1.5. You're adding 2. So the change in y is 2, positive 2. Change in x to go from negative 1 to positive 1, adding 2 also. So one, 2 divided by 2 is 1. But I don't know that where x is 0. But I can look for a pattern because I know that these are straight lines, they're linear, they have a constant rate of change. Just because I'm given the information that the equation is y equals mx plus b, I know the rate of change is going to be the same no matter where it is on this table. So here's a little trick where you can figure out, well, 0 would be exactly halfway between negative 1 and positive 1 because we want to figure out the y value when x is 0. So I know x is 0 exactly halfway in between there. Well, that means the y value when x is 0 is going to be exactly halfway in between these two. Well, exactly halfway in between negative 0 0.5 and positive 1.5 is positive 0 0.5 because that would put 1 on either side of these because if it's a jump of plus 2, it's plus 1 and plus 1, okay? So the b value, or the y-intercept, is positive 0 0.5. So the equation is y equals 1x plus 0 
But another way of writing this is just y equals x plus 0 0.5 because if you have one x, you have an x. So it's just simplified to write y equals x plus 0 0.5. So those are exactly the same. All right, this one's a little more tricky, but it's not too bad. Start by finding that rate of change. Change in y. To go from three to one, well, we're decreasing, so it's subtracting two. And change in x, to go from one to three, you're increasing, so you're adding two. Change in y, negative 2, over change in x, positive 2. Negative 2 divided by positive 2 is negative 1. And your y-intercept, well, this one's a little more tricky. So I could go back to where I could try to do a pattern of going backwards, but this is a jump of 2, and going backwards 2 would take me to negative 1. So I'm just going to show you. The equation that I eventually want to write it in is y equals mx plus b. So I can take information that I know already and plug it into this equation to solve for what I'm missing. I know multiple xy pairs, so I'm just going to pick one of them. I'm going to pick this pair right here. I like to pick a pair where I don't have any negatives involved. It just makes it easier. And I know the slope. So I'm going to plug what I know into this equation. So I know the y value of a point that I picked was positive 3 equals, this is m times x because the variables are next to each other, m is negative 1 times x is positive 1 plus b. I can solve for b. So we have 3 equals, I have to simplify this, negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1 plus b. And to get b by itself, I want to move this negative 1 by doing the opposite, adding 1, but anything you do to one side, do to the other. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0, 3 plus 1 is 4, so b is equal to 4. Now I have the slope and the y-intercept, so I can write the equation. It is y equals negative 1x plus 4, but I don't need the 1 in front of the x. So another way of writing this is y equals negative x plus 4. They are the exact same thing.